Alright, tell me when. What's up YouTube and welcome back to the Elijah Tucker Show. In today's video, I will be showing you how to put together a 14 foot Bounce Pro trampoline and the enclosure net safely. So a wise person once told me, you always work smarter, not harder. Therefore, that's the reason why I went ahead and laid my foundation, my base out already uh, to start this. All right, YouTube, let's go over some parts. If you're following in your handy dandy handbook, you will see that you have your base. Five is the base. This is 6B. I've already put 6B on the right side. 6B will always go in the right side of part named five. All right, and then 6A, does the same but on the other side so it's going to go on the left side of part five understand how you tell the difference from 6a and 6b is 6b has a hole in it and 6a doesn't all right so we're gonna finish the foundation on all these parts right here and then we're going to talk about something else now that we've finished all of our legs and putting them together it's hot out here excuse me i'm sweating just a little bit so now we are going to connect all of three into our legs so three is a snake with legs four is a snake without legs got the base finished this probably took me about 20 25 minutes understand this the reason why it took so long is because remember how i laid out the foundation for this guy well it kind of got messed up right here they align well definitely make sure you get everything in the right place because that was the hassle when putting this foundation together also you gotta get them in the right spots because you're going to secure them with nuts, bolts, and screws and things like that. So again, I that was fastening the part three to 6A and 6B. Again, this is 6A because it has a smaller hole and you're, you're just gonna screw a little something, 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 some stuff in there. We're gonna go ahead and now put the part B and all the places that's missing, all the, the missing puzzle pieces. So quick tip, the piece that you insert, the piece with the insert, you put in first. And then you kind of just pull and then adjust and finagle from there. You didn't see that. And there you have it, trampoline all done. You just jumpy, jumpy, flippy, flip. Oh wait, time out my hair. Oh, oh. okay, 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 seriously. Now we are going to go ahead and install these little screws. It goes washer first, and then the screw goes into the washer. Don't mind my dirty nails and everything like that, but boom, like that, and then you screw it in from there don't pay attention to the random gunshots in the back and this is to 6a obviously because it's the only way, place you're gonna fit it well, here comes my favorite part well not really my favorite part but it's definitely the most strenuous part installing the springs so when you're installing the springs, think about it as a clock. You wanna hit your 12 o'clock, your three o'clock, your six o'clock, nine o'clock, and then install 10s, 15s, 20s after there. When you're hooking your tool, you hook, you turn, and then you push it down in there. 
you understand? So you, you hook it, pull it out, a little turn. It's hard to do it here, but oops, dropped it. <laughs> You're gonna hook it, turn it, and then put it down. Now we're gonna do the even numbers on the clock. I'm just getting my nephews to help me out with this. Now pull it over there. You go that way. Pull it. Pull it that way. Yep, put it on top. Help me. Put it on top. done and the trampoline is coming together as you see i just tied these things on the bottom well not the bottom yeah but but the base of the trampoline and then the, the padding just sits over top and now all there's left to do is just to build the rest of the enclosure so a few little things that i found out while installing this i wanted to stop and show you guys a little secret here so you can turn this like so <laughs> and i learned this the hard way make sure the big holes are facing outward because you're going to install this little piece here these two black pieces here they're called piece e and you're going to put them into the hole and then screw f along with h g j is the other washer you see that and that order right there h g j and then and you screw it right on top right into there um all of those right there with this piece right here okay so we're gonna do that and i'm gonna show y'all what it looks like Thanks again for watching.